In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Terminator, the best terminal emulator out there, and make your command line experience awesome. Okay, if you don't already have Terminator on your system, you can easily install it with sudo apt install terminator. Type in your password and that's it. You can create new tabs with the Control shift t like this. You can now switch between those open tabs with Control page up or Control page down, or you can use your mouse. To split the window vertically, use Control shift e like this. To split the window horizontally, use Control shift o like this. To navigate between windows, use ALT and then arrow keys. So ALT, UP, LEFT, RIGHT or DOWN. So as you can see, you can easily go left or right, up or down through, the, through this grid of windows. To resize windows, use CTRL, SHIFT, UP or DOWN. So for example, if I now want to resize this window, I can use CTRL, SHIFT, UP or DOWN and make it larger. If you want to zoom into some window, use Control shift x like this. So for example, if I now type here something ping, for example, and I uh, press Control shift x I will zoom it in so that I can see the results. Uh, okay, let's uh, ping something in google.com. I can see the results and then I can zoom it out and it will continue working here. So I can zoom in and zoom out like this. Okay. We can close the window using Control D or Control W. Control D for a single window, Control W for the whole for the whole Terminator. I will not use it now. And uh, to you can also rearrange windows by dragging the title bar anywhere you like, like this, for example. Very nice feature of the Terminator is called command broadcasting. That means that you can issue one command to multiple windows simultaneously. And not only multiple windows, you can also issue it to the multiple tabs as well. So let's zoom out this window. And uh, to turn on command broadcasting, you have to go to this small menu here and uh, click. You have three options, broadcast off, broadcast all, and broadcast group. Select broadcast all. And now you will see that if I now type a command in in one of these windows, I like, for example, here, I do LSHV again, you will see that this command has been uh, typed not only here, but also here, here, let me just resize a little bit, and here also. And you can execute it in all four, four terminals as well. It's not only been issued into these windows, it has also been issued uh, in this tab and in this tab. So it broadcasts to all of the instances of Terminator. Okay, so what happens if uh, you don't want to issue the same command literally everywhere? Uh, you can broadcast, to, then you can broadcast to group. How do we do that? First of all, we have to create some groups. So you, you go to this menu, say new group, and you will be here offered a Greek letter name for the group. Okay, and then we have to select the terminals we want to add to this group and select the group. So for example, if I select these two, okay, let's do one more. Let's do for example, this one here. I will select it, add it to the group. You can see that these windows here are part of this Omicron group. This window, however, is not, and these two tabs are not as well. So if now I type command here, for example, Oh, of course, and you have to select uh, broadcast to group. Okay, now if I type command here like lshv, you will see that this command has been broadcasted only to the group. So only to this, this, and this terminal. However, it's not in this terminal because it wasn't a part of the group. It's not in this tab and it's not in this tab as well.
if you want to see how to pimp up your terminal and make it look awesome, or if you would like to see what are my favorite terminals for Linux and Mac, check out my other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tick that little bell icon and see you in the next video.